There are places on Earth that defy logic, confuse scientists, and leave behind way more questions than answers. Places where compasses spin like a politician trying to answer a direct question, where rivers boil hotter than my Aunt Irma's temper after you put pineapple on pizza, and where waterfalls disappear faster than my chances of getting a dinner date with a Malcluni. Today, folks, we're diving into five of the strangest spots on the planet where the laws of nature seem to just break. Buckle up, because it's going to get weird. Our first stop takes us to the great state of Minnesota, home of Prince, the Mall of America, and a waterfall that disappears like a bad toupee in a hurricane. Deep in Judge C.R. Magney State Park, there's a waterfall called the Devil's Kettle. It splits into two streams, but one of them, poof, gone, vanished, kaput. The water on the left flows like a normal river, but the right side, it plunges into a massive hole in the rock and nobody knows exactly where it goes. Scientists have tried everything to crack this case. Dye tests, ping pong balls, even GPS trackers. They tossed them in and nothing. No trace. It's like the Earth swallowed it whole, along with their research grant money. Some scientists think it reconnects underground, but until someone dives in and survives, it's still one giant wet mystery. And frankly, I'm not volunteering for that expedition. I've seen the Goonies, and I know how these things end. Next, we're heading south of the border to the Mexican desert, where the real mystery isn't the lack of decent tacos. It's the lack of, well, everything. Welcome to the Zone of Silence, a place so quiet you can almost hear your own thoughts. Almost. Here, radios go dead. Compasses spin like a top on a sugar rush. Signals vanish faster than my hopes of winning a Grammy. Even birds avoid flying over it, which is saying something because birds will poop on anything. It's been compared to the Bermuda Triangle, but on land. And with fewer Jimmy Buffett songs. Is it aliens? Probably. Magnetism? Always a crowd pleaser. A government cover-up? Well, duh, isn't it always. Scientists blame magnetic anomalies, but they can't explain why it only affects certain devices or why the zone shifts in shape. It's like it's alive, or at least as alive as a giant signal-sucking desert can be. And here's a fun fact for you. A NASA test missile once veered off course and crashed right here. Coincidence? I think not. All right, folks, this next one is gonna make you sweat. Deep in the Peruvian Amazon flows the boiling river of Shanay Timpishka. Yes, a river that's naturally boiling hot. It's so hot, it can literally cook small animals alive. Nature's crock pot, if you will. But hold the spices. The temperature uh, ranges between 45 degrees Celsius to over 90 degrees. That's hot enough to brew a mean cup of tea or um, melt your face off. And the craziest part? There are no known volcanic systems nearby. None. It's like Mother Nature plugged in a hot plate in the middle of the rainforest. So where is the heat coming from? Some scientists say it's geothermally heated from deep earth fractures, but even that doesn't fully explain the size and consistency of the heat. It's just boiling all the time. I guess you could say it's a pretty hot topic for debate. Our next stop takes us to Tanzania, home of Mount Kilimanjaro incredible wildlife and a lake that's straight out of a horror movie. Lake Natron is beautiful, but deadly. With its blood red water, thanks to salt loving organisms, it looks like something out of a heavy metal album cover. But the real headbanger is what it does to animals. Birds and bats that land in the lake often don't survive. They become victims of the ultimate bad hair day, folks. Their bodies are calcified, preserved like ancient statues. It's not magic, but it sure looks like a natural Medusa effect. 
high alkalinity, extreme temperatures, and sodium carbonate basically mummify anything that falls in. Science understands the chemistry, but it still doesn't explain why some animals resist it and others don't. It's like a deadly game of Russian roulette, but instead of bullets, it's well turning into a lawn ornament. And finally, we arrive at our last destination, Hestalen Valley, Norway. Population a few hardy souls and a whole lot of unexplained lights in the sky. We're talking floating orbs, flashing balls of light, things that would make even the most skeptical UFO enthusiasts say, hold on, let me get my tinfoil hat. These lights have been reported for decades, hovering for minutes, sometimes moving at speeds that would make a fighter jet jealous. No engines, no heat, just lights. Locals have seen them since the 1930s. Scientists have set up 24-7 monitoring stations and still, no solid answer. Are they plasma, electrical discharges, secret government drones testing out new disco ball technology, or something else entirely? We don't know. And that's why the Hestalen lights still make top lists for the most unexplained phenomena on Earth. Or maybe, just maybe, they're just really, really bright fireflies. But that's not as fun to talk about, is it? So what do you think? Are these just natural phenomena we haven't figured out yet? Or is something bigger going on? Are we alone in the universe or just bad at returning its calls? One thing's for sure. There are still places on this planet where science can't give us a straight answer. And honestly, uh, that makes Earth even cooler. It's like that friend who always has a good story to tell, even if you're not sure you believe it. Follow, like and subscribe for more videos that make you go, wait, what? And remember, the truth is out there probably hiding in one of these weird places.